Oh, I'm going to try to quickly give my two cents on this. Um, you know, a lot of people have been discussing the whole CM Punk Undertaker thing, and you know, you know, should CM Punk, you know, be the one that ends the streak? Or or what? Um, because the way the way they're playing it up, basically, the 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 reason the way they're playing it up, basically, is that they're making it sound like um, all CM Punk wants to do is probably just cause the Undertaker to get disqualified or counted out, and thus end the streak. Now they're has been rumors reported online that WWE is strongly, or WWE backstage is strongly considering, well not considering, it's more along the lines if I can get back to it, is thinking about, I should correct myself there, well it sounds like they're strongly considering it, but it's more like they're thinking about having, you know, the whole um, CM Punk, uh, situation, you know, CM, the, basically what it is, it sounds like they're strongly, um, considering, uh, CM Punk, probably, according to a wrestling news source, if I can go back on Facebook and find it, considering CM, strongly considering going in that direction of the count out or DQ. Now, a lot of people have pretty much um, have pretty much said that they don't like the idea of that probably happening. They don't like the idea that they could go in that direction. Uh, the reason being is because um, you know they 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 don't like the idea. That, that, well, basically, the reason I'm trying to find the information here, so excuse me if I'm trying to find something here, but basically, they they just don't like the idea that you know the street could end on count out or DQ. Uh, a lot of people pretty much feel that that would be a cheap way, um, for the streak to end. And I, I agree on that. I, I really do. And I do agree with what Jeff Shegel said, the Schleg Daddy said. You know, CM Punk has not done anything, you know, very significant to show that he is a, a viable threat to the streak. Now, I will admit, I will admit, psychologically, um, psychologically, you know, it, it, it does, you know, sound, it does seem good, it does sound good psychologically, because all CM Punk is saying is, hey, you know, all I have to do is beat you, either by kennel or DQ, and that's it. You know, I don't have to pin you or anything. Basically, make, basically what it sounds like is they're making it sound like um, CM Punk's just, you know, all it's, all they're doing is having CM Punk say, hey, I'm just going to beat you, but they're not having him say, you know, I'm going to beat you by making, by making you submit or pin you or anything, and he's just going to beat him, and he's even pointed out, and he's even pointed out that all he has to do is get him disqualified or counted out. I mean, right here it says on lordsofpain.net, if you will, it says WWE is pushing the idea that CM Punk will try and get The Undertaker disqualified at WrestleMania 29. So, yeah. That's basically what it is. They, they want to get, they, 
They've been discussing it. Now, the, the key words there, though, will try and get. doesn't mean he will. So basically, like, through a psychology... It's, it'll be basically like... It'll be, it'll be kind of like what Rock and CM Punk at, at Elimination Chamber. We all know the stipulation that if Rock got disqualified or counted out, he would lose the belt. That's basically what it sounds like. And from what we saw, CM Punk throughout some of the portion of that was trying to get him disqualified. I mean, heck, you go back and do the Randy Orton-Christian feud, and Christian won the world title through a DQ. And a lot of people complained, even though he was champion again, that was a cheap way for the title to change hands. So my honest opinion is, I don't think they should do the DQ. I think they should just straight up let it happen. And, you know, and with this fact that CM Punk probably be taking time off afterwards, it kind of throws up in flux exactly how the, how, how the match is going to go. Whether we're going to have a DQ fin it, whether we're going to have uh, take a win, or whether we're going to have CM Punk break the streak. It's going to be interesting. And but I do agree. It's, you know, doing a DQ account is a stupid way to end the streak. It'd be cheap. It'd be stupid. And I do agree with Jeff Siegel. You haven't really. I mean, yes, CM Punk's a great wrestler. There's no doubt about it, one of the best in-ring performers WWE has. But they haven't really, except for against The Rock and stuff, haven't really featured him, you know, to the best of his abilities. And I'm pretty sure a lot of CM Punk marks. We'll agree with that. So, you know, my honest opinion is, if they're going to end the streak, do it by pinfall submission, straight up, so that way you can put CM Punk over, or let the streak continue, and as Jeff Shego pointed out, allow someone that's just starting out, someone like a Big E Langston, if you will, or Roman Reigns, or Leo Krugan, or Conan O'Brien, if you will, let one of them get brought up to the main roster. Let one of them be the one that ends the streak. Because they could benefit more from it than CM Punk. But if you want to say, hey, CM Punk's a big deal to us now. We need to really establish him as a big deal. Then yeah, go ahead and do it. But do it straight up. Don't think of a stupid DQ finish. Don't think of a stupid countout finish. So, that's just my thoughts. On whatever the heck that was. But that's just my thoughts on the whole CM Punk Undertaker thing. And I don't know what that was in the background. So I, those are just my thoughts. Thoughts and everything. And comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I, apologize. and I apologize for that. I don't know what that was. So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later.